Yay. Unfortunately, because of our current weather conditions, I'm unable to make it to Beer Brothers uh, just due to Mother Nature. Now, it might surprise you to know that this is only a day old. I woke up yesterday at this time. This wasn't here. So surprise, I guess it's winter. So we're at the local uh, pub drinking nonsense beer, uh, just having some food and enjoying with all our pals. And uh, we'll be back next week with a review from Beer Brothers. Hey ho everybody, it's good old Mohawk Mike here. And it is a stormy, wintry day if you've seen the earlier broadcast that I, uh, I sent out. Ashley has invited us to come check out her beer collection. And I gotta tell you, it makes mine look sad. Hmm. But the good news is, is we're here right now and she is letting us try all these amazing beers. Like literally you, you, you go into the fridge and there's like one of everything. It's amazing. I, I, I'm just starting off things right now with a Low and Brow original. Uh, of course, uh, many of you have tried this. This is considered a very kind of domestic beer in in uh, in Germany. Uh, it's it's readily available pretty much anywhere you go. Uh, the way that you you can tell is if you actually look at the top of the can, they have beer spelled in every language in the world. Beer, Briar, and Mexican, and some sort of Swahili and. So I mean, it's it's a it's a really common beer. It's a nice beer, though. It's it's I would consider it the uh, Coors Light of German beer, but it is nice and it goes down easy. And I'm happy to be here. And Ashley is going to take us through some of her beers later on tonight. And I am crazy excited because she has some of my favorites here. And I hope to add to her collection because I'm going to give her a Westwetterlin 12 to throw in there. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, Mohawk Mike signing out. Hello. Hi, I'm Ashley. Uh, this is a Brockton IPA from Granville Island Brewing. Brewing. Oh, man. Uh, it was in my fridge. I don't remember who left it here. I know I didn't buy it. But I do love Granville Island. I love their Hefeweizen and I love their Winter Lion. Um, and anyway, I really love IPAs. I love hoppy beers. Um, the uh there's a brewery in winnipeg that does a really good one what are they called again tough to say yeah i know tough to say <laughs> half i pints. can't yeah half pints half pints half yeah. pints little scrapper ipa that's love one of that. my favorites love that IPA. um and uh yeah i really love ipas i really love hoppy beers and so i kind of had high expectations for this one really not hoppy at all um I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the Hefeweizen is lovely. It's like as much as you would ever want from a Hefeweizen. Their winter beer is pretty much the best beer I've ever had. It's amazing. And, Love it. And this Brockton IPA is just quite disappointing. Bummer. Um, unhappy face. Hmm. Yeah, unhappy face. <laughs> let, let me just taste it and try to explain it to you. Not that my palate is so awesome that uh, you can call me an expert, but... So it's slightly bitter. Um, a little bit rich, but there's like no hops in here whatsoever. That's as much as I can tell you. Like, it's just very disappointing. Um... Just 6%, so I guess it'll get you drunk 1% quicker than the average beer. That's good. <laughs> uh, it, it even calls itself a strong beer. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess I'm glad I only have one in my fridge of the Brockton IPA, so whoever left it here, thank you. You're getting me drunk 1% quicker than I normally would get. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with your horse? It's sick.